the bugs are doing interesting things. It is super hot and sunny today and I have a ton of watering to do. Actually, I have more than I normally do because Papa's taken over this year for me, the watering of the downstairs house. Most of the plants get watered fairly well, um, but I just don't have time to do all of the like two, three acres that are planted, plus the garden, plus take care of all of the other stuff. So it's been super nice that he's been taking care of that, but he is gone, so I have a ton of watering to do. Thought I'd bring you with me, and there's something actually I found today that I'm really excited, so I'll show you that. Uh, yeah, and obviously I have this on because, oh, hello, that was a big bug, <laughs> because it's really sunny, and right now I'm in the shade, and I'll be in the shade for half of what I got to do, but if I wait until seven o'clock to get started when the garden is in the shade, I won't get done with things until nine or 10. So I've got to start now. So let's go. As you can see, we've got a fine batch of clover for lawn. I really would like to get rid of most of the lawn. This section is right by the lower house. So it's a great place for kids to play. They play kickball and softball and stuff, but this section over here I would like to eventually be mostly garden. That's gonna be a ways in the future though. Heading over to the Weedy Hill. I just put that willow in last year and it's looking pretty good. It doesn't get a lot of water but willows are really good about stretching those roots out to find little water sources and watering the hill. Um, Uncle Phil helped put up some sprinklers on top of the dog run and they mostly just hit the hill, so that's really nice. Look at that grapevine. I need to get in here still. Oops, and knock it. <laughs> I'm gonna get rained on, <laughs> except it's a sprinkler. <laughs> I need to get in here and still fix the berries and the grapevine. Let's see. I did put the dogs outside. Not up in this kennel, just in the backyard of a lower house since it's all in the shade right now. I do need to adjust those just a little bit because they're hitting places they shouldn't hit. Weed control. I need to spread out the new bales, but like I said, I'm letting them age a little bit before I spread them out. It helps so the chickens cannot spread them too much. And ooh, look, the, some of the hostas <laughs> that I put in last year that have been weed whacked three or four times are coming back. That's excellent. Still don't know what's going on with this hydrangea, all those spotties. I really need to look into it. It's not dying, so we're just going with it. Um, but all of the hay that I put in last fall, the chickens have basically gotten it done. That's a fun mushroom. Like, is that an egg? Um, have basically gotten it down to bare ground. So I definitely need to get back here and get some more hay spread. I have it again sitting down there kind of chilling. And still, I mean, there are some weeds that are coming up. This is a plant that I want. That's an acanthus. And there should be a couple more out on this side of the hill, but I'm not sure exactly what happened to them. I've got some snapdragons just put in recently. And then some fine weeds growing up because the hay is falling off. But this is again much better than it has been. Oh, the chickens are very pleased that I turned off the water. I turned it on when they were on the hill and they were super mad. Oh, <sighs> I hope that isn't a broken branch. Apple, I didn't realize that one was that heavy. The apple tree did not produce last year and it is producing this year and is quite weighted down. So is the pear tree. And I didn't put those in. I know a lot about fruit trees. But I do know that those need support. So, you know. All right, is this slippery enough that I can? Uh, it's pretty slippery, let's see how I do. Hi, chicken boogers, what you doing? That's Nibbles, and that's Snappy Crackle. We had Snappy Crackle pop our three barred rocks, but unfortunately Pop passed away um, in the spring. So we just got Snappy Crackle, and we call them that because we can't tell them apart. So there you go. And as you can see, they're gonna come up here and help hunt for bugs which is great as long as they don't murder my plants or all of my plants in the process, um, which as you can see, they like to bury things. So 
I'm just kind of taking this slow because it's a little slippery because it's just all wet and I'm walking down here and it's, I'm going to have to head out in the sun in a second. So I'm putting that off for a minute. Yeah, these have been, I dug these out last time I was up on the hill because the chickens buried them very well. Ooh, let's come here. Come, 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 I gotta show you. This is not the exciting thing. This poor grapevine, I need to get it pulled up, I think. I think, I don't know what's going on here. This, oh, the rope broke. There we go. All right, I just need to retie that. Hold on, I'm gonna, maybe I'll prop you up here. Let's see if, hold on. I don't know if you can see that, but I need to tie this up real quick. There we go, babe. Sorry, I didn't realize you were falling down like that. There. That ought to help you, baby. Uh, there, that's better. This little guy's been weed whacked three or four times. And I moved it last year. It was over in a weird spot on the hill. Well, it wasn't weird. I just didn't plan for like the north-south light. Oh, see, look at that poor branch. I need to get that supported. I keep saying that and then I don't do it. Oh yeah. But these, look at these geraniums. Oh my gosh, these are hardy geraniums. They're gorgeous. There are a few other things that were growing down in here or were planted down in here, whether they're growing or not, doesn't really matter because the geraniums are growing and there are tons of weeds in there, but the geraniums look gorgeous. Let's see, still need to fix berry issues. Some plants down here. Now see this thistle, you know how I don't like thistle. I'm pretty sure that this, because this is different from all the other thistles, um, still a little pokey. But I'm pretty sure that this is a thistle I planted in a pack of wild seeds. And there are a couple of these. It's gorgeous. The bees love it. It's coming to the end of its road here. And it came back from last year. So I'm like, I, mean, I planted more thistle. But it's, it's really good for the bees. And it's, I'd rather have this thistle here than the terrible thistle. The really super pokey, invasive, horrible thistle. Oops, let me just fall over there. That's all over. Um, yeah, snapdragons, so love. Blueberries, still not ripe. Haven't had any blueberries yet this year. Don't know about that. Yeah, more weeds, gotta pick weeds. Uh, horseshoe pit. That was grandpa's horseshoe pit that he made. And right now it's, you know, as these things are, a decent cat litter box. Let's see, oh, it's in the shade. Okay, there are two things I have to show you, come on. Then we'll water some more. Oh, I gotta turn off a different hose. All right, so I got these in the fall because I was, actually I got these in the winter and then I finally put them up this spring. And I was, um, this is a bees waggle. And this one I got for cheap because it's actually broken. And I just thought to come out and look here. Because if you can see, there's some of those little ends, but this is so cool because watch, hold on, I don't want to disturb these little guys. I don't know what, huh, hold on. Look, it's all full of little larvae and I don't know if those are, and so this is acrylic and you can open it up and look and I'm hoping those are mason bees or I don't know, look, one's, one's hatching. Oh my gosh, I'll close it. I don't know, this is, yeah. So this is an insect little hut thing and I've never really done that. And I was super, this spring I was gonna try and get some mason bees in cause I've seen little tiny bees, but not super, not a lot of them. Um, so I wanted to try and get some in and then I waited too long so I couldn't order any. But here's this as well. I think Margie, yours almost looks like this. We might have matching, we might have matching little insect huts. But there are also some here, let's see. I don't know if you can see, let's change hands, that also have little blocked up spots. So hopefully they're good insects and happy insects and good for the garden. But yeah, these little insect houses are being used as houses, which is kind of fun. All right, the garden. Don't even remind me how much I need to trim the grapevines again. Grapevines are necessarily always a need to trim. Look at these crazy, these crown of thorn things. This is really not what I thought they were gonna be like. But 
I am super excited about them and I grew those from seed. Last year I put them in the ground outside and they never grew. Or, yeah, I put them down in the flower bed, the strawberry stump before it got cleared out. So I think they got taken over by something else. It's too hot. I mean, I just watered the hay bale end of the garden. There's a few places that aren't getting water consistently. I'll need to come in. But I'm not going to stand out in the sun and water this. So I will be coming back for the garden later. Let's go into the shade and water. So mom and papa are off at her 50th high school reunion. And that was exciting. Okay. I just deleted like 27 minutes of me walking, talking, and watering because frankly the camera angles were terrible. But... I realized I haven't gone and looked at the insect house since I filmed that video for you, what was it, a couple days ago? Mm, yeah, like Thursday. Maybe Friday. It's now Sunday. So I thought we should go take a look and see what's going on down with the insect house and then I will probably like stop filming because I have to water again because it's that time of night-ish. It's still super bright out. but. That's why I have the hat on. But I figured I'd just bring you again, but I'm not gonna try and film and walk and talk in water because I am not very good at that and the camera is all jiggly. So I'll flip you around. Let's go look at the bees or whatever it is in the little insect house because it's really exciting. I never thought I could love a plant with such a weird name as much as I love this thing. Now the chickens keep moving my tag around, but it's sedge or sledge and I think it's a kind of euphorbia and hopefully I'll find the tag again. But there's my one snapdragon that the chickens didn't kill before I put the little fence up. And I do need to get in here and pull out some more blackberries. And oh gosh, look at how pretty these are. Like this, this has like been going on and beautiful for, I don't know, look at how gorgeous that is. All right, so pretty. Where is the tag? Chickens, big meanies. I can just watch that all day. I hope you don't mind. We're just gonna sit here and watch this plant blowing in the wind because it is gorgeous. I want 10 million more of them. Yep, gorgeous, gorgeous. And my favorite grasses are coming back. All right, we're turning on the water on the hill, then we're gonna look at bugs. Don't mind me. Ooh, slippery. Uh, see what happens when I wear my not regulation flip-flops. I fall all over. There we go. Gonna get all wet too. Well, that was anticlimactic. Sprinklers. I need to reset them though. All right, come on over here. Strawberry patch is doing well. Those I think are mums. They were in a pot that I got. I got mom a couple plants two years ago and then just left the pot out all winter and they came back in the spring and then they came back again last year so I finally put them in the ground. And those things, those tall things are bulbs I planted last year and they didn't come up last year but they came up this year in a flowering along with some weeds but that's all right. All right let's go look at bugs and donkeys. Ooh look donkeys. Donkaroos! Oh you boys. They're so funny. Totally gonna fast forward this part, so here we go. <laughs> you already saw me walk up and down the hill once before. Let's just get... The water does look so pretty in the light though. Let's see if we get rained on again. Now, see, that is not going as far as it should be. This is why these sprinklers. Oh, it's not reaching down to this corner where the blueberries are. No wonder I got no blueberries. Alright, fast forwarding, here we go. Look at these ends here. Okay. Oh, geez. Looks like some different things are going on. I don't know. Let's see if I can get this open. Really need to put another. Let's see, guys. I don't want to disturb you. Are those? Oh, look, it's moving. So I don't know if they should have light. But what the heck is that? That's awfully big to be a mason bee thing. What are all these interesting creatures in here? All right, if you know anything about bugs, tell me what these are. And if I'm killing them by doing this, 
That's awkward. It's made to open up, but there's so many different things in there. And this little guy up here is like trapped way in the back and there's all this stuff in front of him. Is that stuff they eat once they're born and that's how they get out? I don't know, but this is fascinating. Look, and this back here is all daubed with mud, but there's nothing in there, so I wonder if something already came out. Doesn't look like something already came out. Oh, so confusing, because this one's all full. Look at how, look at that. I don't know. So interesting. This is the first time, like, I, I totally forgot this is here until the other day, and I was like, oh, wait, I should go look at that. And indeed, there were things in it. Okay, look at this guy's moving, and he's very upset because I opened up the door on him, I think. I'll shut this. Okay, sorry, baby. All right, let's go look at the other house. This one's not as cool because you can't see inside. But I don't know if it's bad to look inside the house. That little larvae thing was not super excited that I opened up the door on him. Huh, there's definitely stuff in there. There's little ends are closed and those little ends are closed. And there's some stuffing in that one. I don't really know what's going on, nothing there so much. But then there's little holes up here that are full. Oh, this is so exciting. If you know anything about what might be growing in, in either of my little insect houses, that would be awesome if you let me know. Because if it's a bad thing, I should kill it before it gets out. But if it's a good thing, I love these little insect houses. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm excited whether it's good or bad because it's so fascinating. Oh my gosh, nature's cool. Hold on, let me slip you around. Okay, aren't those the coolest things? Like who knew that little insect houses could be so interesting. I mean, I've always been kind of fascinated by bugs. I don't like them in the house, but out in the wild, I don't mind them at all. And they're quite useful things as long as they're not biting me, in which case I don't like them and I smash them. Sorry, I know that if you're a Buddhist, that's not a good thing to do, <sighs> but I'm not perfect. <laughs> in any case, I'm gonna get to work watering. And I tried to take you watering with me and basically all you saw was the ground going like this a whole bunch and I talked at you for 27 minutes. I told you some great stories. I told you about mom going to her 50th year high school reunion and finding her a cool dress and maintaining perennials. And yeah, it was a lot of chatter chatter and all you saw was bad grass angles and a couple skies. So I just figured I'd cut that because I tried fast forwarding it and it was really bad then. And it. <laughs> So uh, this is just a little quick look at the hill, I guess, and an update on the chickens and the hill. And also then a look at my bugs, because I think those are pretty fascinating. I'm gonna need to remember to come down here and check them like every day now, because they're starting to do things and I have no idea what they are. Hopefully they're good things. I'm gonna get to work watering. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you will come back again so that we can do some more growing and looking at insects together. Bye.